right, let's jump right in. Welcome back everyone. So today's look is that really intense cut crease and this is what you gotta do. So we're taking a very thin liner brush. I got this back in my Ipsy bag um, a few months ago. I don't remember the name of the brand that had the brush, but I will find it. And of course, I'll link it down below for you. And then I'm taking a black gel liner to carve out where that cook that cut crease is gonna be. We wanna do it um, a little bit above your natural crease only because if you put it on your actual crease and when your eyes open, you're not really gonna be able to see it. So you wanna make sure that you place it a little bit above and then we're gonna take a little bit of a black shadow on an angled eyeliner brush and we're gonna begin to smudge out that liner and we're gonna be uh, smudging it and blending it all upwards. There's going to be fallout with black shadow, there just always is, but um, don't worry because we're going to go back in with concealer later, but just try to make sure you keep all uh, that you can going upwards. And I'm doing like flicking motions going upward, as you can see, and then start starting to like deepen that black line with some shadow. This look really isn't that hard as far as like shadow wise because it's literally black shadow, tan shadow, and then the eyeliner. Um, it's just getting those lines to be completely sharp and clean and as cut as we want it to be. Um, but don't worry, just keep pushing through. You got this, you know. It took me a while to record this. So I know it says seven minutes and 35 seconds, but it's more like seven hours. And just make sure you smudge everything going up. And then I'm taking a really big fluffy brush. And instead of getting an actual blending brush, I'm taking that to just brush off any product. And then same thing, adding more black shadow to just deepen that crease a little bit, add some dimension. It was so weird for me because I didn't go in with a transition shade. I literally just did this black shadow and liner and then blended it out with a little smudger brush. And hey, it worked. I do have like the lightest shade um, in the Morphe 35O palette. I used that to set my eye. But other than that, I didn't use any like taupe shades or, you know, anything like that. So that's a little different for me, but we figured it out. <laughs> And then I'm taking a little e.l.f. eye crease brush and I'm blending that out a little bit. Because that sharp eyeliner brush can only do so much. So we have to blend it out a little bit. And now I'm just taking some concealer and I'm going to begin to clean up any fallout. And I did, um, once I cleaned it up a little bit, I also began to drag the concealer all over my eyelid just to set a really nice base. When I primed my eye, I primed my full eye and then only set like my brow bone, like basically everything above the crease and I didn't set my lid because I knew I was going to have to go back in with concealer. And if you put like concealer, powder to set it, and then more concealer on top of that. It's going to make it all gunky and it's going to build up and you really don't want that. So I didn't set my lid. So that's a little tip there too, okay? <laughs> I took my finger and I brushed off a little bit more of that product. I did put too much so I just brushed some of it off and then going to make it all a smooth surface with that concealer brush. And then taking a tan shade from the Morphe 35O palette. I'm going to first place that all over my lid and I'm even going to bring it out towards the tail of that cut crease. And I know it looks tan now, but I'm, they didn't have the shade that I wanted. I really want that, wanted that like naked, like almost like bare skin look. Something that really matched my skin tone. So I put this darker beige shade and then on top of it, I put the lightest shade in the Morphe 35O palette that was used to set my eye. I used that um, right on top of that beige shade and it turned out exactly how I wanted it. I was so happy and yeah, 
but you could really put white or silver if you wanted to go dramatic you know but I wanted to keep this really neutral so that's why I went with like that cool tone like shade And now for liner. I tried so hard to make sure I could record this for you guys, but you know, I'm getting better at it. I did get most of it for the most part, so good for me. And what I did, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattooed Liner, and I am just drawing out that line. I really want this to be as thin as possible and get as close as I can towards the, um, like the tail of the cut crease, but without actually like connecting it. Um, and I really love this freaking eyeliner for that because it's so thin that it gets into all the right places and it's amazing. So once I got that shape that I wanted, I filled it in and then since it's so thin, I was able to bring it all the way in my inner corner just right. And then I took a Marc Jacobs black coal pencil and I applied that to my waterline and then also like the top waterline too. And then just taking some black shadow to smudge that out. And since this look is so neutral, you can use any shade of lip color that you'd like. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some makeup inspo for your next, you know, special occasion. Maybe date night or just a night out. It means so much to me when you guys like and subscribe to my videos. So I do want to thank you truly and genuinely. And I hope you stay around to see what else I come up with in the future. Thanks, guys. I'll check you out next time. Bye.